Thanks, Melanie. Well, I'm back over here with uh, Jackie and Sis Accessories. She's wearing a little <laughs> slinky here as a pretty much a bangle. But uh, we're not talking fashion over here. We're talking about shoes. And I was going to try to be brave and hold on to his, his booty. If I can do this, I've been so nervous. He's gonna I'm going to give her the butt end because butt ends never bite. <gasps> oh, don't throw it. <laughs> you got him. Okay, wait, he's curling. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'll let you do that in a second. Tell us about what's going on at Tree Hall right now before we run out of time. <laughs> yes, well, we're really excited because this is our 75th anniversary for Tree Hall State Park. So for this month of August, a little bit less, you can actually get into the park for free. I love this, and uh, so uh, what a great idea. Now, you don't get into the zoo for free, but the actual park, and you guys have something uh, very exciting going on next, this coming Saturday. Yes, well, we wanted to celebrate, and oddly enough, Krispy Kreme, it is their 75th anniversary mm -hmm. as well, so they will be at Tree Hall giving away free donuts. We will have a conservation booth set up, so we'll have a booth set up towards... Um, teaching people about the animals that mm -hmm. are going into decline, and it gives you an opportunity to donate to animals that are um, undergoing a decline in the mm -hmm. wild populations, as well as booths with critters. So you'll get to come out and see animals like Slinky here, yay, um, and touch them. Okay. Um, <laughs> we will also have um, educational material out there, and in addition to that, we have shows going on in the zoo. We have our Tippy Clock mm -hmm. Alligator Feed, which is really neat. You don't get to just look at the alligators and watch them eat, you get to feed them yourself. Mm -hmm. Then we have a three o'clock program where you get to come and have an educator teach you all about different types of animals, some of which you get to hold, just okay. like Slinky, mm -hmm. some of them you get to touch, some of them we just get to look at. Okay. But still, it's a great educational opportunity and a great place to take your family for the weekend. Wonderful. So, so many different things going on there. You can see, I love the way Jackie just handles this thing like it's <laughs> just a piece of bread. Just kind of like, meh, here's a snake, hanging out. So, so cool. Well, um, so tell us some fun things here about Slinky. You were showing me his little appendages. <laughs> yeah, well, Slinky is pretty neat as a vertebrate, meaning that they have a backbone. Most people think that they don't have a backbone, mm -hmm. but he does. As a matter of fact, if I can get him uncoiled here, uh, he has ribs going from the back of his neck all the way down here to the tip of his tail. So wild. And he, right here at the tip of his tail, he actually has a reduced hip bone. So it's really neat. His hip bones are maybe about this big, mm -hmm. and he doesn't use them like we do. But like I said, those ribs are going to go all the way from his head down to the tip of his tail. Oh. And what's really neat, on some of the larger pythons and boas, mm -hmm. they actually have remnants of legs, kind of like we have an appendix okay. or ribs and feet, something you don't really use anymore, mm -hmm. but it's just left over. And you probably can't see it, these tiny little furs right here is what we call them. That is so wild. Well, there we go. Thanks for coming on this morning <laughs> to tell us about it. I wish we had more time. There's so much Jackie could tell us about little Slinky here. I'm glad I got to semi hold on to him and see what he <laughs> felt like. He feels he feels lovely, but I'm rather scared. Just like Silk. Of him. Yes, just like Silk. We're going to be right back. You guys stay with us. Thanks, Jackie.